how to sort in Java collection with efficiency? What's the difference between comparable and comparator? How, how can I do it with efficiency these days? Join me and find out on this video. Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are a software engineer who wants to move your career to the next level, welcome to the ultimate sophisticated software engineer space. Please subscribe. Let's start creating uh, our favorite scenario, the soccer team, where I will have a player this player will have uh, three fields, a string, name, a city where this player was born, and finally, uh, the number score, okay? So my player will have three fields. Uh, to make it simple, one thing that I can do is to convert this one here to record. If you are not familiar with records, don't worry. I have a video that talks only about that. So I will convert this one here to records. So name, city, and score. Right now I have this field, these three fields. Uh, to order Java, we have two ways or we have two interfaces to handle. The first one that I will show to you is using Comparable. Comparable is an interface where we're going to use in the entity of the class itself. Uh, for example, if you go to string class, you might see the comparable here if you go to java date apis the number implementation however not number self i mean if you go to integer they will implement comparable if you go to big decimal and so on i will make this comparable here so i will have the player where i need to implement this method my comparable with this player here, I will use the name. So give the, the player, let's use a better name here, the player P, I will order. So this, just use the name. So name comparable, compare to player and finally name. This way, I will order the players. If I create a unit test here, like player tests, where I will have four players. Okay, let's create. So public void should, I don't know, maybe list, where I will have some players here, so I'll use my classic sample that is Neymar. So his name is Neymar. He is from Santos and his score is 10. Then I will create more two Ronaldo. This one here is from Lisbon with 15. And another one, I guess, is Messi. Hopefully, I did not Messi with Messi name. Anyway, I guess Buenos Aires in Argentina. Right now, I have three players where I will create my team. So my collection of player, you be my team, where I will use 
de Neymar, Ronaldo, and Messi. What I'm gonna do next? I will sort her using uh, the comparable, the default way to do it. So I will collect and then return a list for me. So this one will be my players. And to test, I will use my favorite test to that use a Fluent API or Assess J. So I set that players. Come on, where are you? Players, where it should not be empty. And of course, contain exactly. I will start with Messi then Neymar and finally Ronaldo because my comparable my default sorting way in my empty will list by name so let's run oops I forget the test annotation so let's run loading let's see what's going on as you can see here I'm using Java 17 and that is it so I created Neymar Ronaldo and Messi and then I defined my comparable I'm using record here however if you're gonna use class feel okay to do it and let's move on to the next stop that we're gonna use comparators the main idea of comparator is to order one class that does not provide comparable or you don't want to use the comparable way that comes from the class so you can not use or combine those let's create another test this time public void should use comparator where i will create the name are here the same list okay but this time i will order by the the city name so i will create my comparator here of player uh, by city order by city and what can I do is using comparator that is a method that that is comparing where what can I do is player and then set the city and based on that oops it's not natural order method is comparing right now what can I do is I came with the string team string uh, sort where I will define the comparator I will return as player and right now I will use assess J as usual I set that players Come on, players, and I want to contain exactly this order. So it should start with Messi because Buenos Aires start with P, then Lisbon with Ronaldo, and finally Neymar. Okay, should. use comparator that is enough here and let's execute again the idea is to not use the comparable I will use the comparator where I can overwrite if a class has comparable or 
include this function to their class that does not provide the comparable implementation itself. Let's go to the last step of our sorting journey today. Uh, right now, we're going to talk about multiple comparators. Imagine right now that we want to order by score, where I need to get the highest one. And if is it had the same value, I will take a look at the city. Okay, so I will copy paste here. Then I will create a method should use multiple comparators. Uh, I came here using test. I will copy and paste again. This time I will use score if you remember. So I will take the score and then city, but not reversed. And what I'm gonna do right now, I will create my string. So a string started order by a score, and then the next one you be the city. Okay. Uh, I can do this way here, or I can just copy and paste here, whatever you want, whatever you wish. So, on this case, let's simplify it. So, I will come here and then I will return my list of players. Let's imagine a scenario where I have Neymar and Messi with the same value, score, and let's use it, assert that. Players, come on, it's loading, uh, it contains exactly. So the first one, where we are looking to the highest score, you be Ronaldo, then Messi, because on Stema and Messi has both have the same value. It will look in the city name where Buenos, Ar Buenos Aires starts with P, and finally Neymar. Let's run. And that is it. What did you did you we do today? So we learned how to use comparable here. So if you are using Java 8, 11, it's fine to use or higher. The exception will be records. You can use with records or a single class. Then we used the comparator. So just use the comparing here. We put the reverse order. And finally, we could use multiple comparators. That is it for today. Please let me know your thoughts around sorting with Java. Of course, you should not return a lot of values from database. But what you need to do? It's a good way to do it. Thank you, and that's all for today. Bye.